Okay, this morning we're going to go over the first step of our phone amp. And the first thing we want to do is look at our cut list. And we're going to start by cutting the back pieces. So we look here and we need two of them. The thickness is a half inch, which the board is already. The width is two and three fourths, which we already have that. And then we need the length at two and three quarters or two and three fourths. So you all got a board that is a half inch thick right here, face to face, two and three quarters of an inch wide from edge to edge. And this was 48 inches long. So out of this board, we're going to start by cutting two that are 11 and three fourths. So we put our tape in the opposite hand of our writing hand. Come here, pinch the blade with our thumb and our forefinger, pointer finger. And I'm going to hook my tape here. And I'm going to go to 11 and 3 fourths. Or 11 and 3 quarters. So here's our 11. Here's 1 fourth, 1 half, 3 fourths. And I'm going to pull back to make a precise crow's foot, and I'm going to put an X towards the bigger number. So that's measuring from one end. Now I'm going to go to the other end. So I'm going to flip my board around, hook my tape on the other end of the board, go to 11 and 1 fourth, 1 half, 3 fourths, make my crow's foot, put an X. Now I'm going to lay my tape here, get my speed square. First step is always make the lip tight to an edge. Slide it through my crow's foot. Make my 90 or square line. Go to my other crow's foot. First step, make it tight. Now I'm sliding it. And there's my other. So here, if you remember, I'm going to get my saw now, and I'm going to, I always put it on the side far away from me because the, the saw cuts when it's pressing forward. So if I'm press, if I put it here and I'm pressing forward, it's pushing away from me. So I'm just going to push it here, line my saw up. I'm going to pull back twice right on my line right there pull back twice and now i'm going to cut okay there's our one piece I always want to clear the dust here so my board sits tight to this fence. Line this one up. Pull back. Now. going to save this we'll use the whole piece so set that aside and now we're going to grab two pieces or two pieces line them up on the ends and we're going to see which edge which of these edges joins together better so i'm going to switch this around and i would say this one looks better now when you're gluing, you want to make sure the ends are lined up and that your boards are flush on the top. So it shouldn't be lined up like this. So you want to make them perfectly flush so that your fingernail won't catch on either of those there. So now with those ends lined up, I'm going to grab my tape. Get a piece that's roughly the length of our board. Blow off any dust. 
and I'm going to lay it there. Before I press it down, I'm going to make sure these are lined up and squeeze these together. And now I'm going to tape this down. Oh, make sure it's tight. Okay, now I'm going to flip it over. And I'm going to get my glue. So to get the glue, you uh, pull the lid up. Sometimes you have to pull the lid all the way off. Like this. And sometimes glue gets dried in here. So if it's not coming out, just pull the lid all the way off and pull out any glue that's there. And then make sure you line this up, slip it on. Okay, so now I'm going to just bring this up. And I like to lay my glue lid down sideways like this. And I don't go all the way to the end and I just make a nice bead of glue right down the middle. You only need it on one side. And then I'm going to bring that together again making sure my ends lined up. And I'm going to get two pieces of tape Go like this. I'm going to stick it on one side then bring these down make sure it's flat on the top and squeeze together I'm going to get my other piece do the same stick it on one side make sure it's flat And then glue that. Now if you're going to clamp this, which you can, you can take your clamp and use that. So if I have a gap here, open it up. The thing you want to be careful of, you're welcome to use this, is that you want to make sure when you're clamping that this board stays flat. So if I grab my extra board here, and I put this here, it should be completely straight or flat. What can happen is, if I take this and I put it here, and I clamp too much, it can make your board uneven. So that it, well, can start to see it but you should always check to make sure that your board is flat when you're clamping it so now we're going to set this aside for 30 30 minutes let the glue dry just a little bit and then you'll get uh, just an extra scrap piece of wood and scrape that off so we're going to set that aside and that is your first step